The new iPad Pro has its own new accessory, the Apple Pencil, which Apple hails as completely familiar and entirely revolutionary. Well, we'll see about that. Last week, we had the iPad Pro on our teardown table, and we've had to wait an entire week to play with its friend. So today, we're tearing down the Apple Pencil. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new Apple Pencil. In order to see inside this pencil, we had to do some heavy lifting, or grinding. But before we get to grinding, we started with the easy parts. The tip of the pencil came off without a fight as it just unscrewed. Apple was nice enough to make at least this part of the pencil user replaceable. And they even went as far as to include a spare tip in the package. A peek inside the tip reveals a tiny metal bit sunk deeply into the tip, presumably to get as close to the screen as possible. This likely connects to one of the two emitters in the tip that allow the iPad Pro to determine the pencil's angle and orientation relative to the display and adjust the pen stroke accordingly. The digitizer on the iPad Pro should be able to determine the distance from each emitter to the screen, and from that, calculate the angle of the pencil relative to the iPad. Removing the lightning connector was next on our list, so we brought out our eye opener to soften the adhesive holding it in place. But unfortunately, even softened adhesive wasn't going to be enough to get the connector out easily. And we got our first teardown casualty, a torn flex cable. When it came time to get into the actual tube of the pencil, we pulled out all of our teardown tools. Eye opener? No. Heat gun? No. Heat was not going to get us into this device. So we did what we had to do and got out our Dremel. Sawing away at the plastic outer casing allowed us to finally pull out the metal tube inside. On the tube is a single tiny tri-wing screw, just like we found on the Apple Watch. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe. It turns out it's back to dremeling and cutting to get this tube apart. First to come out were the battery, antenna, and what looks like a charging chip affixed to the flex cable. We also got a look at the teeny tiny logic board. This is the tiniest board we have ever seen, weighing in at a whopping one gram and folded in half to make the most of the minimal space. On the board, we find the ST Microelectronics Ultra Low Power 32-bit RISC ARM-based Cortex M3 MCU. If you'd like to see the full list of chips we've identified, head on over to the teardown at ifixit.com. We turn back to the metal casing to extract the pen nib and look for its sensor magic. Peeling up another tiny board, we find a set of three matching ticks. If we had to hazard a guess, we'd say these help sense pressure, possibly as the nib presses into the body. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything. So we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between one and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and one being the most difficult. The Apple Pencil scored a one out of 10, and here's why. On the upside, the pen nib and cap can be replaced if worn out or lost. But on the downside, it's clearly not meant to be opened or repaired. You can't get in without destroying the device. The layers of plastic and metal holding interior components are impossible to remove without shredding. And finally, the battery, enough for a 12-hour run, is impossible to replace, giving the device a limited lifespan. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful, high-quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com ifixit.